How you manage your period has environmental impacts. Let me show you. Let's say I use four or five of these a day. That's like 20 to 25 for an entire cycle and they all end up in the landfill. This thing is made of cotton and plastic. And then when I'm done with it, I just throw it in the garbage and it goes to the landfill. In the US, we use around 19 billion single use menstrual products a year per the life cycle initiative. That's a lot of waste for something that we only use for a few hours. So this week I'm switching to this, a menstrual cup. It's made of medical grade silicone. It could be reused for up to 10 years. It holds the equivalent of five tampons and you can leave it in for up to 12 hours. So here's how it works. Instead of absorbing like a pad or a tampon, the cup collects blood. You fold it like this and you insert it and then it opens up. There's little holes here so that it could stay in place using suction. Then you empty it when you're done. I've never used one of these before, so I am a little bit nervous, but I do wanna reduce my environmental impact, so why not? All right, I did it. There is a little bit of a learning curve. It feels like slightly more pressure than a tampon, but I'm gonna be able to ignore it in a few minutes, I'm sure. The only part I'm nervous about is emptying out in public because you have to clean it with soap and water between uses, but it holds so much, so that might not even be an issue. In terms of the menstrual cups and for people who have IUD, they can be more challenging because of that suction effect in terms of potentially disrupting the IUD placement. They're generally going to be latex free, which is very nice for people who may have a latex allergy. But if you're sensitive to rubber or silicone, that may be an issue. If this freaks you out, totally fair. There's also period underwear, which has a built in absorbent layer, reusable pads that you can toss in the wash, and even menstrual discs, which you insert like a cup, but they sit differently and they don't use suction. So after a week of using it, am I a convert. I think I still need to get the hang of it, but I'm willing to get over that learning curve because honestly, there has to be a better way and this might just be it.